exercise, stay tuned. Welcome to the Elite Body Data YouTube channel where we tackle your common fat loss as well as muscle gain questions and promote the benefits of using the latest and greatest fitness technology so you can reach your body goal destination efficiently. Subscribe to our channel and check out our blog. Our blog has so many helpful articles. The blog link is below in the description box. All right, Data Fit Crew, in this video, we'll be discussing what VO2 max testing is, why it's important to complete this, what factors influence it, and how to improve it. So stay tuned. So what is VO2 max testing? VO2 max testing lets you know the amount of oxygen, the maximum amount you consume during exercise. Basically, how much you can push yourself. It's also a strong predictor of your risk of certain diseases. Knowing your body's capacity to take in, transport, and use oxygen during exercise allows you to know how efficiently your muscles utilize oxygen so you can power through. This test provides you insight into your cardiorespiratory health, a fancy way of selling you how well your heart, lungs, blood, blood vessels all supply oxygen during sustained exercise sessions. Most importantly, this test provides two vital pieces of information, your aerobic and anaerobic heart rate. Your aerobic heart rate, meaning the heart rate where you can make improvements to your cardiorespiratory health, and your anaerobic heart rate, that heart rate where lactic acid starts to build up. It's the point where you're struggling to intake oxygen, you feel fatigue, the point where you swear you can't push any longer, and too much lactic buildup can impact your performance and require you to spend more time than usual to recover. FYI, your anaerobic point isn't exactly your lactic buildup point, but it can be for some people. In essence, this test will help you determine your heart rate to be at low, moderate, and high intensity training sessions, so you'll be able to check your heart rate and figure out where you need to adjust when necessary. That is great. Having that result will ensure that you can be performing well. Note this though, just because you have a great VO2 doesn't mean you're gonna be the next top athlete. So just important to note. And remember, this test is a maximal test. You will be pushed to your limit, so it's not for everyone. There are certain people that aren't able to compete, complete the test, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. You just gotta work towards it. So why is VO2 max testing important? Well, the thing is, most of us are familiar with heart rate zones. We see those color-coded heart rate zone diagrams on fitness equipment. Even our monitors on our wrists and our chest tell us what our heart rate is. The problem is, these zones typically are based on predicted models, such as 220 minus age. And these watches have so many formulas. There's 30 plus potential formulas that they could be using to predict your heart rate and then in turn predict how many calories you burn. But there's way too many variables to calculate in one formula. So though your heart rate might be accurate, it may not be telling you the accurate amount of calories that you're burning and you want to be accurate. You want to know if you're overexerting yourself, if you need to back down. Taking a VO2 max test allows you to know where you are at aerobically and anaerobically. If you know what your aerobic capacity is, you can increase it because you know the number at which you're really pushing yourself to improve your cardiorespiratory fitness. And if you're a person who likes to push yourself hard, you'll know at what point you need to back down. This ultimately answers the question, where should my heart rate be during an aerobic walk or run? Where should it be during a high intensity class like Orange Theory or Barry's Boot Camp? Knowing this data can keep you honest on training day and also allow you to recover adequately because you do not want to constantly push yourself in the upper limits of your heart rate. You don't want to do that often. You want to balance between low intensity, moderate intensity, and your peak high intensity. So you'll get those numbers when you complete this test. So you'll know how to plan your workout program accordingly or the trainer or any professional that you're working with will be able to program your workouts and cardio sessions in particular to a point that is more aligned and appropriate for you. All right, so what factors influence it? Genetics, some people naturally have higher or lower than average heart rates. Genetic differences alone can put a lot of people outside the ranges of formulas, even before other factors are considered. Another factor, age. The assumption is the max heart rate decreases as we age, but it will de decrease at a different rate for different people, especially if a fit person is aging, they may experience not as much of a dramatic decline. They may be able to maintain it, in fact, for years. Conditioning. As you train your body, your body adapts to your max heart rate, and that will change it. Dehydration can also influence it. You may have a, have a higher heart rate in response to dehydration. 
Caffeine, of course, makes sense. Stimulants can impact your heart rate. Stress, sleep, lack thereof, exercise recovery. I mean, the list goes on. So to recap, the VO2 max test is great because the equations don't take into consideration those things that I just listed. This gives you an actual max heart rate based on your current condition, giving you accurate targets to aim during your training sessions. By testing repeatedly over time, you'll be able to see how your cardiorespiratory fitness improves. Basically, you can learn if you're getting fitter. I hope this video helped you understand VO2 max testing, and I also want to provide you a few tips about how you can improve it, so stick around. As promised, I want to let you know how you can improve your VO2. Now, this is a little bit tricky to answer, and people are going to have their opinions about this, but I will say this. It will vary person to person, but I'm just going to give you some general insights. The fastest way to improve your VO2 max is typically high intensity interval training, also referred to as HIIT. Think 15 to 20 seconds at your maximal effort, that heart rate zone that will be determined by that VO2 max test. Now, the best way to improve, it's a little bit more realistic, and that is training at a variety of intensity. So a couple of low days, a few moderate, and then some HIIT. So that really intense peak training. You wanna make sure that you're ultimately choosing your heart rate zones and averages based on your goals. So working with a trainer or another health professional who can help guide you is always going to be vital because I personally don't know what your goals are, you don't know what my goals are, but what's important to know is that there's a fast way and then there's the best way. But the amount of low intensity versus moderate versus high is going to vary based on your goals. Someone who wants to bodybuild versus someone who wants to run the Boston Marathon is going to be training at different zones in each phase of their training. So keep that in mind, you're an individual. I hope you guys love this video and that you'll possibly seek out taking this test if you have an opportunity to. Until next time, guys.